Yoda and I just usually go around the block and we were coming back and just at the corner behind me here, we came around the corner and um, the dog that attacked us was with a dog sitter. So I took Yoda because they had been fighting by the fence because we're neighbors. And so I took Yoda and we moved to the middle of the road and I said, Yoda, sit. And I kind of just looked down and uh, next thing I know, I'm on the ground and I'm looking up at the sky and the dog has Yoda and he's gnawing at him and attacking him. And I was kicking the pit bull and screaming and yelling as hard as I could. and. The person that was walking the dog had no leash, so he couldn't control the dog. And then um, the dog was gnawing at my dog numerous times in the torso. And uh, then finally, Yoda kind of freed himself a bit. I saw the, Yoda's leg go through the dog's mouth. And um, the person was trying to hold the dog. And I remember being on my knees and the dog still gnawing at my dog. And then, it ended with Yoda actually having the ear of the other dog in his mouth and I had to ask my dog twice to let go and he did and and then I retreated to the sidewalk at the corner and I was hyperventilating by then most of the neighborhood had come out and was asking me if I was okay but it was like almost like having an asthma attack where you can't breathe. Yoda's cornea scratched so I had to put two different kinds of drops one four times a day and the other one two times a day in his eyes to let his cornea heal. Also when he looked at the side of Yoda there was an open wound and I assume that was from him scratching at his puncture wounds so he suggested that we do surgery on him right away so that took all Sunday afternoon he was there for about five hours. It's, it's not something any pet or owner should have to go through it's it's not fun at all like you always read about things like this happening to other people and you think how awful and and then when you have to experience it yourself it's it's pretty shocking